Hi, I'm Karen Hodgins, creator of Nifty Numbers Family Math Night, and in this video I'm going to share with you a super easy way to teach long division to your students. Now first I'm going to go over the traditional way. Okay, so here's my problem. How many groups of 25 can I make out of 425, or how many 25s go into 425? And then we teach students to start over here um, with the 4. And we can't make any groups of 25 out of 4, so we move over, right? And now we can make groups of 25 out of 42. It turns out we can make one group, and then we multiply 1 times 25 is 25. And after we multiply, we subtract. So now we've got 17, okay? We cannot make groups of 25 out of 17, so we need to drop the 5 over here. Now we can make groups of 25, and it turns out that we can make seven groups. Kids are usually doing a little multiplication problems in the side to figure that out. Um, it turns out it is seven groups. So this is gonna work out perfectly here with no remainder. Okay, so there we go. So we've arrived at our answer. Um, um, we often have students uh, multiply the answer times okay, 25 to get 425 to confirm that yes, indeed, um, that is the answer. So. Um, very uh, efficient way um, uh, to solve a long division problem. Now there's another way that I teach my students and I call it hangman division and you can see why uh, it's called hangman division. But I'm going to fill this with the problem that we just did. So how many groups of 25 can we make out of 425? And now students are going to be using their estimation skills to solve this problem. So I'm going to start with 10 first. I know that 10 times 25 is 250. That's super easy. So now we're going to subtract again. Okay, so now I've got 5. Let me do a little borrowing there. Okay, so now I've got 175. Look familiar? Okay, so um, I'm going to keep this really simple, make this really easy for myself. And I'm going to say that I know that there, that 4 times 25 is 100. Okay, and so now I do another subtraction problem and I'm left with 75 and that is super easy because I know that three groups of 25 is 75. My subtraction problem is zero. So now what is my answer? My answer is these numbers, okay, over on the right hand side added together. So 10 plus four plus three is 17. And I would write that up here at 17. And of course, in the beginning, kids might we need to um, um, show them um, that they're writing the 17 and the tens and, and the ones column. Um, they do, they will, students will write, I'm really picky about this. They'll put 17 like that and I'll co go around and I'll say, really, 170, huh? And so it teaches them very quickly that they need to really be careful about lining up those numbers, that's very important. Okay, now what kids really like about this is they like to see, they like to challenge themselves and see how many, um, what's the fewest number of steps that they can take in order to solve the problem. So I solve the problem in one, two, three steps. I could have done it in two steps. I could have combined these here and made this seven, and then seven times 25 is 175, but students will automatically do that to see um, the least number of steps that they need. And in fact, when they're setting up their hangman, they like to look at the problem and then guesstimate about how far that line needs to go down. So it's a lot of fun for them. So if we provide our students with a variety of strategies to solve problems, then math becomes accessible to more students. And when math is accessible to more students, well, that's a very good thing. So um, I encourage you to try this with your students. And when you do, let me know how it goes. Have fun.